guys and welcome to a new episode of Legends. We're playing today or actually trying out a standard mana lolo deck uh, just to see how it still fares in the meta. I've been hearing word that um, lolo is back, mana is back even though it was um, nerfed. not long ago so the nerf that uh, lol received was that mana now actually costs four instead of three so in the past you would have been able to play mana on turn two with the ring and then on turn three uh, just spam some uh, some lalu oathmans and there you have it uh, that's a board filled with stuff uh, and you, basically the game was uh, was won and at the time uh, Ulalu was considered a bit of cancerous. Um, with the fix, however, people have started to orient um, towards a much better built Ulalu, uh, not necessarily with mana, but uh, with uh, aggressive creatures, high power plays, and um, yeah, that's that's what's happened. So now I'm trying to see if LOL still works with mana. And I've just summoned mana right there. Unfortunately, we've uh, lost our 5th um, Legion trainer to uh, Sorcerer's Negation. And we're playing against a Tribunal deck, a UD. Hello, sir. Starting off right off the bat, on turn 5 with the mana, we've just um, oh, com almost completely emptied our hand. Hopefully there will be no Ice Storm coming. It's a Firebolt. A Tree Miner. Well, that's, uh, that's quite an enough for our... Um, uh, Lucky draw there. <laughs> Crusader's Assault. And we've got a Triumphant Yarl, which will be excellent to play next turn. And I think I'll just uh, also silence uh, the Bruma Profiteer. There's the Ice Storm. And a firebolt. <laughs> Blood packed messenger. I'd like to get rid of that. Unfortunately, I can only do it with this marked man. And I'm gonna make sure my guard does not get removed and he draws cards by silencing it. <coughs> Sorry about um, <coughs> my throat there. The weather here in Romania started to take a turn uh, for the uh <coughs> cold aspects of uh, autumn. And at night it gets quite cold. I fear I might be starting to develop something, hopefully not something serious because um, I don't want to be kept away from you guys. So we managed uh, to bring a tribunal deck uh, to its knees. Overpowered summons And our Tribunal deck is left with almost no cards in hand. Which is great. Oh no. <laughs> We've lost the mana. Balmora Puppeteer. Uh, I think we have Lethal. Uh, that's 7. 
12. That's lethal. <laughs> we need to think this through. Uh, if we hit any number of prophecies, we won't have lethal anymore. And it is lethal because uh, we skipped the last room. So, great game, first match. See you next one. Welcome back. We are with the standard Lalu um, Haunted Manor deck. Uh, pretty simple. I liked to, um, to keep it simple. We're playing against a veteran deck. Facing against a legend, number 685. <laughs> Such a great name. <laughs> Greetings to you too, sir. I'm nom nom nom. <laughs> well, meeting people with uh, different usernames, uh, some of them actually funny, uh, brings always brings a smile. <laughs> Well, may the best deck win. I will keep people alive. With uh, our opponent summoning Galen, I'm guessing for the veteran forerunner. It's just a hunch. Uh, we could use. This guy. And basically just uh, trade in, but uh, maybe it was not the best approach. Sacrifice two cards uh, for play. One died because we wanted to trade to keep the traitor, which would have gotten an edict anyway. <laughs> oh well. Sometimes things like these uh, do happen. Let's get out the experiment, the Valvark experiment. What's it gonna be? I'm guessing Hive Defender. No, a five cost creature. A piecing javelin. Right on the Orc Clan Captain. Uh, okay. Let's draw a card with low on cards. We've got a Nord Firebrand. Hmm. What could we get in return? A red run does not have mass removal, but it does have Grizzly Gourmet and Rift Thane. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Shadow Lane became a dead lane. Let's see what the Yarl gives us in terms of uh, ooh, a Balmora Prophecy and another Triumphant Yarl, which we can play again next turn if we're not feeling uh, confident with what we have right now. And by the looks of it, not looking very good. Earthbone Spinner. That's some perfect timing right there. Because we can silence um, that uh, Rally X2 creature and stop worrying about um, gigantic guards being thrown into what uh, lane I'm starting to set up. Currently in the field lane. Well, 
At least he didn't rally. Would have been really awful to see a half defender with uh, five, eight. <laughs> and there's another one. Mm -mm -mm. So there are a couple of options that we can play. Going with uh, the Yawl, I think, is best. We could use... We have something in the field lane set up. We could use some... Haunted Mana. Well, not really my idea. But... I'm not sure if we are going to be able to play it. Considering our opponent is solo on HP... And we need to um, spam face or get some cliff races, man. <laughs> Another piercing javelin. Well, it's good that we didn't uh, hit these while uh, opponent drew prophecies. Steal a creature's keywords. What's keywords? I don't have any keywords. Do you? <laughs> Yep. Tough decision. We've got so many plays that um, I think whatever we can play, it's just going to help us go for lethal. So we get the Lalu Oathman out. Let's see what we are going to draw. Wow. Let's attack. And let's get some more. There it is. Um, I chose to, to, uh, I could have played Nord Fibre, but it would have gotten the, uh, mana boost to great game, yeah, <laughs> just cast it into time, a good creature, um, could have thrown out the Nord Fibre and spread the damage, So my best advice um, to any of you guys playing against um, control stuff, this looks like a bit of control-ish. Oh boy. Mm. Well, we're at turn 9, things are starting to get a bit ugly, and I'm guessing we are facing a conscription. And it looks like our opponent is salty. <sighs> boy, oh boy. I don't get it. I'm not one to rant, but... Okay, you have did your best, and I respect that. And you've played very well. I was just a bit lucky. Uh... There's no need to salt and leave that turn time and just go the merry-go-round. So 
Very nice. Thank you for the game, nom nom nom. Let's see who else we can pick a fight with and playing against... Sound of Drums instead of here. Playing against Jabul with his Dagoth deck. Again, playing against a legend, number 321. Great name, uh, sorry, great number. <laughs> 321. And we're starting off with uh, our um, Mournhold trait, of course. You get this in your hand in the early turns. You play it. You play it and you keep it alive. And it will do you great good. <laughs> uh, we've got mana. <laughs> See if we can uh, we can play it because uh, previous game mana actually saved our uh, bum. We were able to boost a lot of creatures and put enough pressure on our opponent uh, forcing him to get salty hopefully this will not be the case saltiness is uh, something that i've been seeing lately a lot and i can tell you i'm not a f uh, not a fan Going with the second Mournhold Traitor every time. Let's uh, let's buff it up. And um, you know why? Playing against Dagoth. Dagoth has a Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt is bad for Mournhold Traitor. It's that simple. So we now have uh, 10 damage on the board. A Shrieking Harpy is going to change that. Waken Dreamer. But the Dreamer will get no buff. And Anasi to the rescue. Getting all those guards. <laughs> Let's see what we're going to get um, regarding a play from our opponent. And I think I should end this match quickly because my battery. Um, is looking pretty dim and we might get a phone shut down if I don't get to a charger fast okay so getting rid of Anasi mm, I would have so liked that well we will just lose um, that's one mode in front camera Look at this. I drew guards poorly. Our opponent's next play could be either Hand of Dagoth or, I don't know, uh, a giant. Why is he conjuring? Yeah, I was expecting that. Um, and I think our opponent was trying to get that Lava Atronach out, but uh, we are going to win, no doubt about that. And our opponent sees that and concedes. Thank you for the game. Cheers, guys.